Hello again. Um, once again, I wish to discuss the phenomenon of a thing called natural disaster and what could have happened to certain prehistoric animals like dinosaurs and mammoths. But in this discussion as well, I would also like to discuss in more detail what could have happened as many ocean creatures of prehistoric life. And once again, other issues that I never discussed properly like prehistoric vegetation that these creatures used to live on, like ferns. I once asked recently in a video about natural disaster that I had made that the Ice Age did not last as many people thought for thousands of years, that due to a natural disaster with the Earth's rotation, with its axis going out of control, that what people thought lasted for thousands of years was not, but only about maybe a century, maybe even less. It might seem laughable, but the effects of nature going out of control are there for humanity to witness on many occasions with tsunamis and such. These things are not quite impossible and not laughable. <coughs> Is it possible that creatures like these lived in the Ice Age, dinosaurs, with creatures like these, the mammoth, that they coexisted together in a freezing environment that did not last thousands of years? The thought that a dinosaur could live in an Ice Age to some people would seem impossible. I think not. They were big, heavy creatures with a very thick skin. And if they were in the Ice Age, they were strong enough at certain points to move around, to get out of certain positions and go live somewhere else. I think what did happen with the dinosaurs was that they did live in the Ice Age and that it did not last for thousands of years. But due to the constant change in the Earth's climate, with the Earth's axis going out of control, there were so many changes in nature that things were happening at too great a rate for them to adapt. And because the Ice Age and other effects, like oceans covering over the forests, the lands, the ferns that they used to eat and live off were being covered under the ocean, therefore were dying. As a result, they could not produce oxygen, could not sprout or seed. As it was with the effects of the Ice Ages, they were destroying the environment that these creatures used to live on, which is why many of the ferns all over the world, the great big trees and fruits and vegetation that they used to live on, died. They could have been died as a result of natural disaster due to constant changes in nature. If the ocean is to cover one part of a whole forest, all that vegetation in that forest, it will die. Many of these creatures, what they lived on, could have died as a result of that. Science knows that the earth was once covered by water, but for how long? And how long did it happen? It might not have been for millions of years. Like I said before, if you have ever seen the film 2012, you saw what happened within the space of something like a week, the disaster that happened with the whole world, what happened overnight. Canyons caving in, mountains splitting apart, oceans covering land in a matter of minutes or hours. These things can happen when nature goes wrong, and if the Earth did go off its axis, many things like this would have happened. One minute a whole nation would have been swallowed up into a tiny group of little islands. Say ten years later, it would have come back again then another 10 years later would have been covered in ice all over again. The natural environment that these creatures lived on and the food would have constantly been suffocated. There would not have been a chance for these creatures to keep producing in these environments with these foods. And one of the reasons being not just the effects of nature, but the very things they had to live on died. See, not all dinosaurs were meat eaters, and maybe not this creature was neither. Maybe for we know it could have been a vegetarian and many of the things it lived on died or maybe some foods that it hunted these creatures died so therefore it could not eat what it had to live on because the creature that had to live off the other things the vegetation that died therefore this poor creature could not correspond because it couldn't eat the other creature because it was not there for it to eat so neither of them had any food <laughs> as for sea creatures when you look at all these great big giant prehistoric monsters that lived in the sea, including the great giant Megalodon, which was a lot bigger than the film Jaws in the film, a lot bigger than that. The constant changes in the nature, if the earth did go off its axis, and the water levels were changing, the temperatures were changing, many creatures in the ocean, what people don't understand, have to live within an environment that suits their temperature. If the temperature goes wrong, that creature's in trouble. And if the changes in that environment under the ocean were changing so rapidly, then creatures could have died. Because to try and get out of the way, if natural disaster is happening, then that means the climate is constantly changing. They don't know what's going to happen. That They could go to one area and suddenly the climate is changed again without their knowing it. It's like if you've got goldfish in a 
tank of water and it's getting cold and they're looking for warm, a warmer climate. If you poured boiling hot water into that climate, yes, at first it's going to seem warm. They're going to come rushing up to the top. But once the temperature is, when they realise they get to the top, the temperature will kill them instantly because it's changed. It's not what they think. The Earth's atmosphere has always been changing as is the climate change and everything. And if the Earth's axis did go off its control, all these effects would have destroyed these creatures within a matter of, say, a hundred years, a thousand years. I don't dispute that. I don't think it's impossible that these two great creatures lived together. I don't think it's possible that they did not. And I definitely do think that some dinosaurs, many, did live in the Ice Age. I do not believe the Ice Age lasted for thousands of years. Like I say, it was to do with a constant change in the Earth's atmosphere and climate to do with the axis going out of control. Things were changing at such a rate that what we think lasted for thousands of years did not. Personally, I think in all reality, why science has never ever tried to investigate the consequences of the Earth going off its axis is beyond me. I think it's something that the human race should look into, the leading men of science and knowledge of this world. It could be the most groundbreaking story they've ever wanted to find out as to what could have happened to these creatures and the lower primates that they thought where man descended from, which I do not believe he came from. I do not believe in the theory of evolution, though I respect people like Charles Darwin and Richard Dawkins. I think natural disaster killed these creatures, and that what was best adapted to survival, like man, survived this disaster. You could ask yourself the question, well, why did things like African elephants and other creatures like that survive these great natural disasters? Maybe those who could find a high ground, a place for survival, they managed to survive. It was luck, and that's all. It's not that all these creatures survived. Some of them could not escape what was happening because there were so many changes happening back and forth. It was impossible for them to do. I think what happened with a lot of the fern vegetation that the prehistoric animals used to live in is what killed them, that they would be flooded over constantly, and they're constantly being drowned by snow, then forest fires. There's no way they could have survived. Other vegetations did survive, they got the luck of the draw, and in the end they overtook what was once fern forest and grew themselves there. Nature had to make up for its losses. I think that many of wildlife's creatures were not destroyed, like they said, millions of years ago, though I no doubt the earth is billions of years old. That's why when rock scientists discover rocks, they can date a rock, and that's how they can tell one layer of rock is this old, and another rock underneath was a different set of rocks that was millions of years old. If the earth going off is access, one series of rocks after another would cover that one over a couple of, say, 100 years, 50 years. That what we see, what we think is millions of years, and then other millions of years, because the rocks themselves are millions of years old. It didn't take millions of years for them rocks to cover over. It was natural disaster, like an earthquake. Huge shifts in the concrete plates covering over one another after another. One earthquake after another, one giant collapse was caving in after another. And it's how we came to believe these things happened over millions of years and they didn't. Natural disaster is not impossible to happen on this earth and it could have gone unrecorded. Remember, we know so little about the history of this earth, we really do. And I think if science was to look into the possibility of natural disaster and the earth going off its axis completely, there is a possibility that we could find the clues as to what happened to all these creatures and why they died. It wasn't by a meteorite. It was to do with the changes of the climate of the Earth going completely out of control. They could not survive the constant changes that were going on constantly, over and over again. Summer one day, winter the next, a flood covering over the land the next. For these creatures, it would have taken its toll eventually. It's a sad story, but one I believe that is true. Thank you.